Yeah. No, I can't drink it. Okay, Fuck maybe it. a little bit. I don't know literally anything. This is good. That is a very small tongue for a human. I didn't think I'd become such a beer expert in like five seconds. <laughs> it looks like we got company. It's like drinking tar. What kind of beer do you ladies like? We don't. You don't? <laughs> so you would consider yourself to be craft beer virgins? Yeah. yeah. In that case, I would like you guys to put on these blindfolds so you can think more about what you're tasting. What I'd like you to do now is both open your mouths and stick out your tongues. Taste that. <laughs> open your mouth and stick out your tongue. That is a very small tongue for a human. <laughs> this is impossible. <laughs> Tell me, what do you taste? Chocolate. Good, okay. I, I want you to stick out your tongues again. Wait! That's a bit bossy. We are kind of in charge of this. Don't shout at us. Stick out your tongue as much as you... <laughs> There you go. What do you taste this time? Raisin. It's a raisin. A raisin. Yes. That is yes. Awesome. What we're pouring for you here is Iron Fist, Velvet Glove, Imperial Stout. Take off the blindfolds. Oh. Well done. Okay. But you can really smell and taste the chocolate. It looks like we got company. <laughs> Who are these guys? I don't know. Morning. Hi, Martin. Not from around here, are you? No. Well, we, we heard a lot about the coffee that cowboys make, so we'd love to try it. But in return, we'll let you taste how we like to have coffee. What do you say? Give him some coffee. It's like drinking tar. So this isn't going as well as James and Martin had probably hoped. Um, what we'd love to do now is let you guys taste how we like to have our coffee. Coffee in a can? Wow. In a can? There's coffee in it, but it's not coffee. We're about to taste a coffee-infused imperial stout. The beer is Java Stout from Santa Fe Brewing. Yeah, this is, this is good. There's a little chocolate. This would be good for a chili recipe, too. I think chili cook-off time, I know where I'm getting my spices. Yeah. You should also start to taste maybe hints of toffee or burnt sugar as well. Burnt sugar. The burnt sugar. Burnt sugar. sugar. Yeah. yeah. The best thing about some imperial stouts are they're really quite smooth and rich in your mouth, quite silky and thick. It's like having your tongue massaged by a velvet glove. Do you yeah. think you could see yourself drinking this out in the open plain with your horse? I don't think I'd share it with my horse. Since you're hanging out, enjoying the sunshine, let's uh, taste a beer. Sounds good. I'm Sounds good. only going to let you taste it if you can catch a goose. 20 seconds to catch a goose. 20 seconds? Yes. <laughs> Not so good for the goose, but better for us because we get more beer. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me what flavours you pick up. Almost like citrusy. Apple? I like the lemon tang. Oh, it's from one of our favourite breweries in Portland, Cascade Brewing. It's an elderberry sour. Cool. Would you say this is the perfect beer for a summer sunset overlooking the bridges in Portland? I think it is, yeah. It's a pretty epic perfect. moment. Yeah. This just makes it superb. Yeah. Cheers, guys. One more. Cheers. 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 I'd be disappointed if you didn't. It's way too good. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Three, four. How are you guys doing today? Fantastic. Beard and music have gone together for centuries. What we'd like to do is see how inspired you get by tasting one of our favourite beers. This beer, Zombie Dust by Three Floyds, has so much lemon peel, orange peel, lime peel, then a big bitterness coming in at the back of the beer too. We want you to taste it and then play how that beer makes you feel. So this will be an audio musical interpretation of these beers' amazing flavours. Are you sure? <laughs> I think you should start. Ah. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> this has beautiful citrus, it's very relaxing, so it reminded me of walking through the meadow on a sunny afternoon. What instrument is this? This is the, uh, the Irish bagpipe. Is that like the poorer cousin of the Scottish bagpipe? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the Irish had the bagpipes first, and the Irish gave the pipes to the Scots, and they never got the joke. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much going on in the complexity of the beer, so I just thought a nice, hoppy, bouncy tune with a lot going on. So taste it, think about how it makes you feel and how you can interpret that with your tiny violin. <laughs> Is that a kid's one? <laughs> <laughs> So I 
got some very dark notes in that <coughs> beer, so like death is near. Or something. Are you a ghost? <laughs> Uh, no. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, how are you guys doing? I'm James. Quinto. Quinto. That's my brother Romano. <laughs> We're here today to let you guys taste some of our favorite beers. Sure. So this was made in Boston by a company called Pretty Things. What is that, beer? Yeah. No, I can't drink it. Okay, Passing. maybe a little bit. <laughs> I'll be okay. I'm not just pass out, that's all. <laughs> so when we taste, I'll stand behind Romano just in case. <laughs> right. It's a style that was originally made by monks in Belgium. So if you drink a lot of this stuff, you go to heaven. Indeed. <laughs> I like to think if you drink any good beer, you go to heaven. Salute. Yeah. Salute. Have you ever caught anyone cheating at Bachi? The last guy that was caught cheating, that's his tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> so Romano, now you've tasted the beer. How do you feel? How's your blood pressure? Perfect. The only thing my head is screw up. <laughs> <laughs> so could you uh, describe this beer in Italian? Buonissimo sapore, amabile, va giù bene. He's encapsulated by the complex malt character. Gentlemen. Good guys, thank you very much. Very good. Most... Most people believe that the fresher a beer is, the better it's going to taste. Today, we're going to find out when that is the case and also when it isn't. And we're going to kick some 18th century ass. Undeniably, the best thing to have after a long day in the battlefield is a beer. Today, we're going to find out if it's best to have a fresh beer or an aged beer. Fresh always sounds better than old. Something that's been laying around has got to get a little skunky, I would think. Well, today we're going to put that hypothesis to the test. Oh. We're going to taste the same beer, one's fresh and the other one's six years old. The first beer is a 2014 Palo Santo Marron from Dogfish Head. To America. What do you guys think? It is very fresh. Not bad. It's aged for a month in Palo Santo wood, so it's a South American hardwood, and it adds quite a complex, spicy character to the beer. And next is the 2008 vintage Palo Santo Marron. The beer is exactly the same. Any distinct flavors popping it? Tastes a little citrusy. You know, kind of uh, rooty, I guess you would say. Which of the two beers did you like best? I like the uh, older beer better. You get more taste, goes down better. I have to agree, I'll go with the older, more aged one. Both beers are delicious, but for me, the aged one's a bit more complex. It's got uh -huh. some more layers of flavor in there, yeah. but it's also developed a smoothness and lost some of that harsh alcohol bite the younger one has. What you sometimes find with these strong, dark beers, when they're young, the alcohol's quite apparent. They can be a bit boozy and a little bit hot to the taste. This is good. It's a nice beer. I'm huh? not a typical dark beer man, but this is good. This I is feel good. the bite. Lots of flavor. And it's also 12%, so it's a strong beer. Maybe that's what's good about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the 2008 vintage, six years old. I feel that I can taste the coffee notes in this one. The older one has some smoothness to it. You've just hit on the key notes about aging dark beers. The longer you age big, strong, dark beers, they're going to develop smoothness. And which of the two beers do you prefer? The older one. The aged one? Yeah. No, definitely, I do. I actually prefer the younger one. The bite. Cheers. 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 Hi. So how much do you guys know about beer? I don't know literally anything. We'll put whatever knowledge you have to the test to be able to tell the difference between an Irish red ale and okay. an American red ale. Just to help you guys out a little bit, I made this handy chart for you. The Irish one's going to be a little bit like buttered toast, caramel, like a mellow old lady <laughs> with her dry finish. Okay. The American red ale, citrusy, spicy and piney, like an in-your-face wrapper, wrapper, like M&M. Okay. <laughs> Assertively bitter finish. Okay. <laughs> The Irish Red is O'Hara's Irish Red. And the American Red is Blood of Kings by Local Option. The first thing you should do is smell the beer, sip the beer, let the flavors hit all of your tongue. And what are you getting from the taste and smell so far? I definitely thought it was very citrusy. This one's a lot warmer, and I think those a lot more spicy. Is this one like a mellow old lady? I would say yes, yeah. it's like a mellow old lady, yes. So of the two beers you've tried, which one do you think is the Irish Ale? I would definitely say this the second one, one. You are absolutely definitely. correct. You two guys are instant beer geniuses. <laughs> Look how much we've taught you. So. Yes, you guys have taught us a yeah, lot. You yeah, you did well. <laughs> I didn't think I'd become such a beer expert in like five seconds. <laughs> and if they can, you can too.